Hi guys, this is a short video just to speak really quickly about uh, the concept I have for duplicating some of the MS-20 circuits. Um, as many of you know, some of you have the MS-20, some of you don't. It's a, it's a pretty versatile synthesizer, but what really sets it apart from traditional old school synthesizers is this patch section, where you've got uh, a modulation generator that is basically the outs of the one that's built in here on the panel. You've got a, a separate sample and hold that you can completely patch in. You've got a VCA, and that's what I'm going to be demonstrating in this video. And you've also got a noise generator that you have to patch into the synth if you want to hear it in any of your patches. So today we're going to talk about the VCA. This separate VCA is something I'm thinking about doing a circuit board for. Uh, it'll be very simple with um, an in and an out for the audio as well as a CV input with a volume pot, one pot, basically uh, to control the amount of CV you're sending into it. Now this is a Vactrol based VCA and that's really what I wanted to demonstrate here because uh, in the design I really plan to duplicate it exactly as it is in the original MS-20 and that includes a little bit of bleed through um, uh, for, for, the, uh, for the signal. It's probably going to be really hard to hear here on iPhone video but uh, let me give it a shot. I'm going to go ahead and uh, down here on my Axis Virus press uh, a key and let me try and put the, the mic up to the speaker can hear there's a little bit of bleed through going on right now. Maybe maybe you can't hear that on YouTube, but uh, let me sh let me show you the natural decay of this sound here. Now this is just a straight gate signal going to the VCA, so you hear a little bit of fade out because of the Vactrol. But really, the best way to demonstrate this is to uh, to get a sequence going. So I have my fat controller, and I'm going to plug the gate out of the FAT controller into the control input. Obviously with the control input for VCA you could use an ADSR, but for the sake of showing the decay of the Vactrol, I'm going to go ahead and just use the gate signal. And on the FAT controller, um, you can set the gate time to be at length. I'll set it to a nice length here, and then we'll uh, shorten it down so you can hear the decay of the Vactrol. So let me okay, so we're going to start the sequence. So we're going to come back over to the gate time and shorten that down. And what you're really listening for here, and I'm trying to demonstrate, is the fact that there's no envelope generator being used, yet there's a decay to the sound. And that's what we all attribute to the, the warmth of the backtrawl. get a really short Vactrol pulse, kind of like a low-pass gate. Get the volume going nicely so you can hear that little fade out. Turn the gate signal up a bit. That's it. That's uh, about what it's gonna. The circuit's gonna end up to be. Again, it's gonna be pretty much a straight duplication. And uh, the circuit boards, uh, the mini circuit boards I'm trying to put together are aimed at being very cost effective. Basically, all of them will have one board mounted pot, and uh, maybe one or two off board pots. But the idea being that any format, whether you're Euro, Five U, uh, whatever you got going, you can pretty much pop this board into any module that you want to modify and add.